Hello everyone. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to see the process of ToDoYou installation. ToDoYou is a business application for project planning, tracking its progress, and for communicating with team members. Uh, it is open source application and is licensed under. Uh, I think it's licensed. Uh, I'm sure that it is published under the flexible new and simplified BSD license. Well, to install ToDoYou, uh, let's go to this ToDoYou pages by typing www.todoyou.com and here you can see a um, brief description about ToDoYou, some important pages where you can go for help and also there is an online demo but we are going to download and install it in our local system. Uh, let's click on this download button over here, download link over here and you can see here there is an option to download when you click on this download now it will take you to the source forge page and you can download the latest version that is 2.3 well let's download it it's going to take a while but I have already downloaded it you can see here it's a zipped file and download it to your computer by clicking on this link I have already downloaded it it's in my download folder as you can see here, you can unzip it and then it becomes something like this one, to do you to dash three dash zero. And all you need to do is uh, you can either upload the zip file into your web server or upload this folder by using some kind of FTP clients like FileZilla to upload file to your server if you are installing in some web server. But Currently, we are going to install in our local machine, so let's copy this folder, command C, and then let's move to our web directory, that is in my case www1, and I'm going to copy it here, command V. It's going to take a while, okay, now the folder has been copied to my web directory, you can rename it if you want, but let's leave it like this. And now let's go to uh, the browser and type here localhost. So if it's in a, some web server and then you have a domain name uh, to you.com, then you will have to type to you.com slash the folder name that you have unzipped your files to. And if you haven't changed the folder name, it becomes it remains the default one that is to do you dash two dash three comma zero. Okay, localhost. Okay. And then here you can see this to do you two dash three dash zero that is a folder. I'm going to click that one. It's going to take a while, and you will be taken into this installation page. The first page here is to choose the language that you are going to use for the installation process. In this case, I'm going to choose uh, English. Install to do you in English. Okay, let's select the first one and wait for a while. The second page is about the to do you license agreement. As I said earlier, also it is published under the BST license, and you can read uh, brief information about this license over here. And if you want to read in detail, you can go to this link. Let's just accept the license and go to the next step. Okay, and in the next window or in the next page, the system, the installer checks your server if it is uh, meeting all requirements that is required for the ToDoYou system to install. As you can see here, we have the PHP version that is okay, files are writable, folders are writable, and that should be okay. Let's move on to the next step. Here, uh, to the installer set up database connections. We need a MySQL database for this to the installation process or for to set up to the system. And now uh, I'm going to log in as a root user uh, by typing my root username and password. But in many cases, it might be that you are not going to use the root uh, username and password to uh, to set up a connection to your database. And in that case, I recommend you to make a database uh, 
give permission to one of your user or make a new account and give all kind of permission database specific permission to that particular user and write the information over here save database configuration it will take a while let's wait Okay, as I said that uh, I'm logged in as a root user, so you can see all the databases from my database server. But in this case, I'm going to make a new one. Let's make it DEEP1234. Okay, and then, and remember that if you are not logged in as a root uh, user for your database in the previous window, then you are not able to make a new database. You will have to create a database, assign user to it, give all kinds of permission, and then you will get here only that database that you have permission to, and you need to click Save Database Setup. Okay, here it asks you to create table and input the required data. Of course, we need to do that, so we just click Import Database Tables. And now here you can write the 2DU system name, whatever you want. Let's leave it like that, system email. Okay, uh, uh, let's write here something at yahoo.com. Okay, English, and now I'm going to change the time zone to Helsinki. Let me click E, 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 and then I get to Helsinki, okay. Save system configuration. And now let's write the company name, company A, B, C, D, whatever. E, F, okay, first name, A, B, C, last name, T, E, F, admin username and password, let's make a new password, and then retype it, okay, now we are going to make an administrator account, here we go, we have created an administrator account, and in this window or in this page what we are going to do is we are going to import sample data meaning that when you check this import sample data and go to next step you will uh, import some data to test to do you right after the installation you will have some users some example projects etc so that you can check the system if you don't want to do that you simply can uncheck this icon over here let's check it it's, it's the first time you're going to install to do you it's better that we have some sample data go to next step as you can see here the installation was successful you can now lock in this next step might take a few seconds depending on your cpu because the system is going to prepare data merge and catch files and do some other magic okay that is fine let's click go to lock in page as, a, as it's an over there it's going to take a while Let's wait. Okay, uh, let's refresh the page one more time so that it takes us to the login page. Okay, let's wait a while. It shouldn't take that long time now. Here we go. Our installation is successful and now we are taken into this login page we type the username admin username and password A G M R N uh, uh, admin and then type your password and you can lock it I don't want to remember the password just leave it like that login ok now we're starting to do you ok now we are into this admin section and we can manage 
our to the use system that is we can make new projects add new users add new tasks etc uh, as you can see here when you first log in you will get this assistant wechat the wechat guides you through the first steps in to do you the whole procedure will take only a few minutes of your valuable time afterwards you will have a ready to work installation please press the continue button to start you can see here you can get some brief information about different kinds of job types project roles activities user groups by clicking continue button over here if you don't want to use this instant future you can simply disable it or you can just close it let's close it for a while okay but when you close it and when you click on this any of this new tab every time you go to the new tab you will get this assistant WeChat so if this is annoying to you you can simply disable it disable any assistance okay now it's disabled and whenever we click any buttons or icons over here it's not going to be displayed well uh, here this is the interface that the current 2D system has this plus button is usually used to add new task, new project, new event, new portion, new company, etc. Under this project tabs, you can see the list of your projects, as you can see over here, and you can also sort your projects. Under this planning tab, you can see your calendar. If there are several events for in your weekdays, then it is displayed over here. For example, a meeting, where, when, at what time, etc and then contacts is about persons and companies contact information as you can see here you, if you want you can modify them you can delete them and here is a short feature that allows you to make your own filters and make different kinds of searches like searching tasks projects persons companies etc well this is the brief description about the to do you system let's lock out thank you very much and i hope this video tutorial helps you a lot in installing the to do you system